Hi everybody, good morning. Today we're going to be reading our third part in the story of the Saez Velez family and their immigration journey from Puerto Rico to New York City. We'll be completing our usual opening do now warm up routine. For today's before reading activity, we'll be listening to a short audio clip called The Oral History of Jose Velez, um, one of the sons in the story. Uh, you can click this link and you can access the short audio clip here by scrolling down on the link slightly and it will play via this link right here. Um, students should complete this activity as this will tie in to the after reading activity uh, in, a, in, a, in a similar way as, as we've seen the past two days. Um, today's purpose, let's look at the text for today. Pay special attention to words that tell us who Romi Romanita was and what life was like for her family at 103 Orchard Street. There's a very interesting text for today that I think the students will really enjoy and be able to make a significant amount of connections to, especially this section about how they adjusted to life in America and particularly how they used the television set as a way to both uh, continue their Spanish culture and as a way to learn English as well. Uh, there's a link to an audio recording of, of the text as well as a link to the text itself over here, as well as a number of discussion questions for the students to engage with. Um, once again, it's interesting to consider um, the importance of bilingual education for the Saez Velez family and how students feel um, if that's something that schools should be required to provide as the, as the Saez Velez family believed it was. There's a short after reading activity where once again, They'll be adding evidence to their before reading response and then making some connections to some of the details in the story. Finally, there's a few short closing and connecting activities um, for the students to reflect on. Um, they could refer back to the word inequities, one of our academic vocabulary words for, for this week, um, along with a number of other discussion questions. Now let's jump right into today's lesson. Can somebody please read today's essential question? Good. How do communities evidence and overcome inequities? Once again, this concept of inequities. Can somebody please read today's lesson objectives? Good. To identify evidence that supports a conclusion taken from a text, to acquire and accurately use academic and content specific words and phrases, Good, we're going to continue using evidence to support our conclusions, as well as to build on our use of academic and content vocabulary words. Let's look at our opening do now routine. Let's look at this image. What do you see? What do you think? What do you wonder? Good, you might say, I see an old television. I think she is making a phone call. I wonder if Mrs. Saez was happy in America. Now, at this time, you could engage in the before reading activity by listening to the audio clip at this link and pausing this video. After that, you can then begin discussing this, the audio clip. Um, all right, it's important for students to, you, it may be helpful to listen to the clip more than once and to have students discuss the clip after listening. How did Jose and his brother help their mother while she was at work? Students should then at this time write a complete sentence uh, answering that question. As we've seen in the past few days, uh, it's helpful to create a Google Doc which is available in the video adapted resources folder so students can keep their work for the week organized and so they can refer back to their responses for a day five culminating activity. Again, it may be helpful to provide sentence starters and to remind students to continue to practice writing complete sentences to express their ideas. For example, Jose and Andy's responsibilities include, and then you could prompt students to what their responsibilities include based on the audio clip that they had listened to. Now you can engage in your reading of the primary text the uh, short short excerpt 
about them growing up on Orchard Street. Again, there's a number of guiding and discussion questions and a number of reading strategies that you could apply um, for students to both practice their reading, speaking, listening, and comprehension skills. After reading, after reading, once again, students will return to their uh, before reading response and add to that response. Again, it may be helpful to provide modeling for students. Uh, again, you don't want to give them the answers, but you do want to help them um, to, to provide the supports that they may need, as students may need more help than others. So once again, their response from the before reading would become the statement in their C response. Again, students should be building up this reading strategy if this is the strategy that you choose to use. Um, but it's important to use the same writing strategy so the students see them over and over again. And especially, it may be helpful to connect with an English teacher and to use uh, the similar terminology that's being used in their English class as well as maybe their other content classes. Um, so the statement, a possible statement could be, Jose and Andy's responsibilities include cooking beans for dinner and cleaning the table. Students should then use a piece of evidence, um, whether it's from the written text or the audio. The text states, if we burn the beans, we'd be in trouble. This shows, and then you could prompt students to explain what this shows. Now, once again, you don't wanna give all the answers away, but you do wanna provide students with the necessary support and scaffolding so that they could begin to compose their own responses. Um, so this could show that, for example, uh, the, the boys learned to be responsible, the, the boys had to practice their responsibilities, et, et cetera. Um, they, they had to support and help their mother who was at work. So they had to help their family. Um, so again, students could write their own, and then there's a, a connection question for students to then respond to at the end, which again, you could provide a number of sentence starters to help students uh, compose an extended response. What did Jose and Andy learn from their mother? Jose and Andy learned many things from their mother, such as, is that similar or different to your experience? Students could then say, this is similar or different to my experience because and then many of our students have many responsibilities at home. So you could help students make those connections and they could say, for example, this is similar to my experience because I have many responsibilities at home. For example, I'm responsible for helping cooking dinner. I'm responsible for help cleaning, for helping to clean the table. Um, right, and then again, if, the, if time remains at the teacher's discretion, there's a few closing and connecting activities. These could also be added uh, to the Google Doc um, as an extended question, and students could keep all their work in one place. Um, so at this point, you could dive right into the before reading activity and enjoy today's lesson.